Good morning, and welcome to our Mass at Sacred Heart Cathedral, uh, especially any visitors. Today is the feast of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica, and our uh, celebrant this morning is Father Jose. Please stand and join us to sing our opening hymn, number 528. Good morning to you all. Today we celebrate the feast of St. John Lateran Basilica. It is the mother church. It is, it is a universal feast. As we have come together, let us remember that our body is a temple. Don't you know your body is the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit? So as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us concentrate on our ourselves and begin this celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask for Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty increase in your church the grace you have bestowed so that by unceasing growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me to the entrance of the temple where a stream came out from under the temple threshold and flowed eastward since the temple faced east. The water flowed from under the right side of the temple south of the altar. He took me out by the north gate and led me right round outside as far as the outer east gate, where the water flowed out on the right-hand side. The man went to the east, holding his measuring line, and measured off a thousand cubits. 
He then made me wade across the stream. The water reached my ankles. He metered off another thousand and made me wade across the stream again. The water reached my knees. He metered off another thousand and made me wade across again. The water reached my waist. He measured off another thousand. It was now a river which I could not cross. The stream had swollen and was now deep water, a river impossible to cross. He then said, do you see, son of man? He took me further, then brought me back to the bank, bank of the river, where when I got back, there were many trees on each bank of the river. He said, this water flows east down to the Arabah and then to the sea. And flowing into the sea, it makes its waters wholesome. Wherever the water, wherever the river flows, all living creatures teeming in it will live. Fish will be very plentiful, for whenever the water goes, it brings health and life teems wherever the river flows. Along the river on, each, on either bank will grow every kind of fruit tree with leaves that never wither and fruit that never fails. They will hear they will bear new fruit every month because this water comes from the sanctuary and their fruit will be good to eat and the leaves medicinal. The word of the Lord. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. You are God's building. By the grace God gave me, I succeeded as an architect and laid the foundations 
on which someone else is doing the building. Everyone doing the building must work carefully. For the foundation, nobody can lay another than the one which has already been laid. That is Jesus Christ. Didn't you realize that you were God's temple and that the spirit of God was living among you? If anybody should destroy the temple of God, God will destroy him because the temple of God is sacred and you are that temple. The word of God. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Just before the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and in the temple, he found people selling cattle and sheep and pigeons and the money changers sitting at their counters there. Making a whip out of some cord, he drove them all out of the temple, cattle, and sheep as well, scattered the money changers' coins, knocked their tables over, and said to the pigeon sellers, take all these out of here and stop turning my father's house into a market. Then his disciples remembered the words of scripture, seal of your house will devour him, me. The Jews intervened and said, what sign can you show us to justify what you have done? Jesus answered, destroy this sanctuary and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews replied, it has taken 46 years to build this sanctuary. And you going to raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the sanctuary that was his body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the words he had said. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the Universal Church 
celebrate the feast of the dedication of St. John Lateran Basilica. Everyone who visits the city of Rome enjoys the beauty of uh, four major churches. They are St. Peter's Basilica, <coughs> St. John Lateran, St. Mary Major, and St. Paul. All of them are huge buildings and contain beautiful paintings which date back to many centuries. <coughs> Among these four basilicas, the most ancient one is St. John the Lateran. This is the first to be constructed probably on 4th century when Rome accepted Christianity as the main religion. It is, the, it is known as the mother church all over the world. Therefore, this feast is celebrated every year with all solemnity. Also, St. John Lateran is uh, known as the Cathedral of Pope. You know what is the Cathedral means? That is the Cathedral. That is the Cathedral. Okay. The notion of the church varies different meanings. Various meanings it has got. First one is the universal church. The Universal Church, founded by Jesus Christ, and its visible head is Pope. Therefore, as Christians and as Catholics, we have a, an obligation to pray for the well-being of our Pope. And also we are called to contribute to building up the church. We also have to welcome Pope and his teaching and directives. The second type of the church is the local church, where the bishop presides over the local church. We belong to a local church, the Church of Townsville, the Diocese of Townsville. It is the seat of the bishop, the cathedral. You see, no one sits on that chair, only the bishop can sit there because he has got the teaching authority. So we don't have a bishop now. So today I ask you, please pray that the Lord may give us a good bishop to direct and guide our diocese. The third meaning of the church is the parish church. It is the basic unit of the universal church and that parish churches are looked after by a parish priest. And he head, guide, and direct the journey of faith in particular parishes. When we speak about the parish church, we have got an obligation and responsibility to one another. Last Sunday, when I celebrated Mass at uh, St. Francis, I have to apologize to the people of a refugee who used to come to our parish church. A few years ago,
lives. We, have, we, are, we do not live for ourselves. We also have to live for others. These fundamental lessons we not only learn from the churches or the schools, but firstly in our own domestic church, that is the parish. Sorry, that is our home. So it is an opportunity for all of us to reflect on our own family commitments and values about the prayer life, about the practice of faith, about our commitment to form, social justice, etc. Finally, as for me, the most important church is my body. Don't you know that your body is the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit? In today's second reading, we heard, you are God's building. By the grace God gave me, I succeeded as an architect and laid the foundation. That foundation is Jesus Christ. We can have only one foundation in Christian faith. That foundation is built on Jesus Christ. That means I am, you are called every moment of our life to lead a life that is based on the gospel values. In my conversation, in my thinking, in my action, I am called to present Jesus to the world. For me, my heart, my soul, my mind, and my whole being is more sacred than the tabernacle. Why? If I am a true Christian, the Lord dwells in me. The, do the Lord dwells in me. Once I have that awareness of that real presence of Jesus, the real presence of God, I represent God in our world because God created me in his own image. So, my brothers and sisters, as we gathered together in worship, let us look at this body. How sacred are our bodies? How we maintain this body for or to be a sacred place? Our prayer life, our commitments, our values, all we need to Relook into it. There are some, of, many of you probably leading that sacred life. As we celebrate this Eucharist, I pray for the entire parish. This mass is celebrated for the whole parish that we may grow an awareness of God's presence in every man and woman in our parish. May God bless you and be with you all the days of your life. Could you all please stand up? Let us proclaim our faith together. I believe in one God, 
the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to get the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Savior dwells within the living temple of church. As baptized people gathered around the successor of St. Peter, we pray to our Father, inspired by the Holy Spirit. That the universal church may grow in the unity and faith through fidelity to our Pope. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations may live in peace and avoid jealousy and rivalry. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That our parishioner Patrick Wilson, who is currently in detention, may be freed and safely returned to our community. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those searching for God may find the rock of Peter's faith and the courage of St. John the Baptist. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show our faith visibly by the way we use and care for the church building. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and bereaved, especially those on our parish prayer list, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithfully departed may be brought to the peace of their eternal home. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Do you all please take your parish bulletin and there is the prayer for a new bishop. O oh God, eternal shepherd, you have given us your Son, Jesus Christ, to teach, sanctify, and govern your people. You also gave us the gift of your Holy Spirit, so that we may forever remain one in your name. We thank you for our past bishops who have served the Church in the Diocese of Townsville. We ask in the name of your Son that you bless our future bishop open his heart to hear the voice of the Good Shepherd calling him to serve your people. Provide him with the gifts he will need to carry on the ministry of Jesus in our diocese. Wise and loving God, we ask that you look with favor upon those in our church who will prayerfully select our new bishop. Give them a spirit of wisdom and counsel that they may discern your will. We ask this through the intercession of Mary, help of Christians, patroness of our diocese. Amen.
I invite you to take out the little blue, green sheet in, as an insert in your bulletins and we'll sing together, You Strode Within the Temple Lord. and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place 
the grace of the sacraments and I an answer to their prayers through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God for in your benevolence you are pleased to dwell in the house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you year by year you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make you holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Now, for a few moments, let us remember our departed ones and pray for them. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, and they are passing from this life, give a kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we, we may be, sorry, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Okay, yeah. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ Amen. the 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 body of Christ 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 the blood of Christ and give it a service, please. body of Christ the body of Christ the body of Christ God bless you and God bless you the body of Christ the body of Christ
Let us pray. O oh God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant we pray that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Few reminders from the parish bulletin. Those of you or your friends wants to enroll your, their children, your children for sacramental program next year, please register them with the parish by mid December. We will be starting the sacramental program in February. I take this opportunity to thank everyone who helped the parish to do some fundraising through the Melbourne Cup ticket sale. I have requested about the signing of the petition. Please let the parish office know. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the good news. Thanks, Thanks, God. Enjoy the coming week. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Father. And let us join together in singing hymn number 481 As a fire is meant for burning.
Can we go? 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 Can we go?